Hello, my name is David Bourne. I'm the Mayor of Morpeth and I'm here to introduce this video to you. This has been put together by all the churches in Morpeth to bring us together to think about and celebrate Christmas. Christmas has been a bit different this year. It's been a strange year, in many ways a dark year. But the bright lights around me in the middle of Morpeth show that the spirit of Christmas is here. And therefore, please enjoy this video and have a merry Christmas and a happy new year. At this time of year, thoughts naturally turn to families, friends and loved ones. And in these strange times, you may well be separated from those we value most. And so, whether you are surrounded by or distant from those you hold dear, or are simply remembering and cherishing precious memories of loved ones, we pray for them now. Loving God, at Christmas, we remember how your son Jesus was born into a family and experienced the joy and challenges of human relationships. We pray for today for our families, friends and loved ones and for all those who we remember with gratitude and joy. May your love, peace, healing and joy surround them and us this Christmas time and evermore. Amen. We are now going to hear Jackie Laidlaw, the children and family development worker for Morpeth Methodist Church, read a piece she has written for this season entitled Advent. Advent Arrival. You arrive every year, often unnoticed, not unexpected. Quietly consumed by Christmas lights, shopping, activities. The darkness before the dazzle. Excited children, tired families, teachers, nativities, concerts, to-do lists, food prep, must-have gifts, cards, visiting, parties, post office queues, too little time to pause, too little time to think. Advent 2020 your arrival signals the start of the Christmas season, noisily consumed with waiting. Covid news, 
economy worries. From the darkness towards the light. Excited children, exhausted families, teachers, online plays, virtual reality. Loneliness, isolation, worries. Fewer gifts, how to connect, no parties, still the cues. An unfamiliar advent, but time to pause, time to think. Looking forward, Advent 2021. You arrive once more, like an old familiar friend, quietly welcomed amidst the glitter and the sparkle of the season. A period of reflection, anticipation and hope for the future. Excited children, tired parents, teachers, nativities. All together again. Lists, shopping, pantomime, plays, gifts. A new normality or the old? Still the cues. Advent afresh. A time to pause and think. pray for our NHS and key workers. Lord, we know that this year has been one that has been extremely stressful, one which has tested our services and our key workers to the limits. Lord, we thank you for the hard work that our key workers and our NHS workers have done. Lord, we pray for this time over Christmas in our hospitals, that our key workers who are working at this time will be safe, that those who are having a well-earned rest will rest and have a great Christmas. We pray for our care homes, for our older people there and all the care workers who work for them. Lord, we thank you for this vaccine and we pray that families will be able to get together and see their elderly young uh, loved ones. Lord, we pray for our teaching staff. My wife's a teacher. I know the stresses and strains that they've been under. Lord, as our teachers have some time to rest over Christmas, may it be a time of recuperation, a time of replenishment, as they look forward to a new year working with our young ones. I want to pray for those people in other roles um, as frontline workers that we don't often think about. For the therapists, the occupational therapists, the physiotherapists, etc., who do so much work to help people get better after they've been ill. 
for the porters, for the postal workers within hospitals, the people we don't normally think about, but who are crucial in making things work. For social services and those people who are out in the community working with elderly people and younger families at a time of great need. And also I want to pray for the IT support staff, often forgotten. And in a year when most of us have had to really catch up on our IT skills, there are a bunch of people who have been working tirelessly to make sure that the police and the NHS staff are able to work from home where, where, where necessary and in schools too where pupils have needed to be taught at home. We pray for all those IT staff. We thank you for all of these workers who have served us so well this year. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. this will be a Christmas like no other. But we want to pray for the people of our communities for whom it will be specially difficult. Those who are grieving their loved ones and all who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, when you burst into our world 2000 years ago, you brought healing, peace, comfort and joy to all you met and you still do that. Come now, we pray, and meet with all who are in pain and distress. To the sick and those who mourn, bring healing and hope. To the lonely and unloved, show your infinite love. To those of troubled mind, be light in their darkness. And pour into all hearts the gentle balm of your Holy Spirit. Amen. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made 
that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We've seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testified concerning him. He cried out, saying, This is the one I spoke about when I said, He who comes after me has surpassed me, because he was before me. Father, we just thank you for your goodness. Lord, we just pray for our government at this difficult time. We pray from both locally and uh, for, at a national level. We pray for Boris. Lord, we just pray that you give them wisdom. You'd help them in the decisions that they need to make at this tough time regarding the economy, regarding COVID, regarding all these kind of things. Father, we just pray that you just give them supernatural wisdom and discernment and help them to make good, right decisions. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Father, God of compassion, we place into your loving embrace the elderly of our local communities. In the book of Proverbs we read, grey hair is a crowning glory. Give them the wisdom that comes with old age and the strength that only you can give. We place into your care those who feel isolated. At this time, there may be many reasons why people may feel like this. Isolated from family or separated from friends and neighbours. In their isolation, do not let them feel that there is no one there for them, but fill them with the knowledge that you know each one of us by name. We remember also those who are vulnerable for whatever reason. Let them know that there are people who love them and want to help them. And may you, compassionate God, allow us to be the ones who reach out with your love to anyone who needs our support. We make this prayer knowing that you, Lord, hear and answer us. Amen.
We pray for the economic impact this coronavirus has had on businesses and individuals and families in this area. We pray for those who have lost their jobs or are living on a reduced income. And we pray for future opportunities and give thanks to all those community groups who have supported them through this time. We pray for businesses that have struggled to make a profit and are left with stock they are unable to sell. We look forward with hope to a time when we will be able to shop freely again with little risk to health. We pray for the economic healing of this community in all its diversity as we celebrate this God who chose to be born in the most humblest of places in order to lift the poor from their poverty. Amen. for children and young people. Over this difficult time, we are reminded of the Holy Family and the struggles they endured as they found no room at the inn. Feelings of rejection and fear for the future. We pray, Lord, today, particularly for young families who are struggling to make ends meet, for children and young people dealing with isolation, mental health issues and self-esteem, for feelings of rejection and fear for the future. We pray, Lord, that at this time of hope you give them the assurance that they are precious in your sight. Beloved children of God, shine a light into their lives and leave them your peace. As Mary and Joseph endured a long journey as they travelled to their hometown, we pray, Lord, for our students travelling home from university or college. We pray that they may leave their weariness behind and ask that you keep watch over them and bring them home safely. Bless their time with their families and refresh them ready for the new year. 
Once Mary gave birth and Jesus was born, all past worries were forgotten and the light of Christ, the Christ child was felt throughout the land with humble shepherds and wise men coming to pay homage. Lord, we pray that past worries are forgotten this Christmas time and that the Christmas child shines a light in all our hearts. We pray for the many acts of celebration in our churches and online and pray that your light may shine into every living room and heart in this community. We pray all these things in the name of the Christ child, Jesus Christ. Amen. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Saviour was born on Christmas Day. To save us all from Satan's power when we had gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. some of these songs and readings and prayers as we have come together as churches together and we pray that you have a blessed Christmas and New Year. So let me finish now with a Christmas prayer and a blessing. Loving Father, help us remember the birth of Jesus, that we may share in the song of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds and the worship of the wise men. Close the doors of hate and open the doors of love all over the world. Let kindness come with every greeting. Deliver us from evil by the blessing which Christ brings and teach us to be merry with clear hearts. And may this Christmas season make us happy to be your children and Christmas evening bring us to our beds with grateful thoughts, forgiving and forgiven for Jesus' sake. Amen. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.